graduation, our second graduation ceremony that'll be tomorrow afternoon. And we wanted to have this dinner to get together with uh, friends of Carnegie Mellon University in Rwanda, uh, the, the folks that have come to join us from our main campus in Pittsburgh. And this evening we also have a number of our alumni very excited to uh, have our presence here in Africa uh, really start to take shape. I'm proud to report that with your help and your advocacy that uh, we've, we're making significant progress in, uh, in this program. We uh, have uh, been able to, uh, with this class of 2015 that is going to graduate 21 uh, students, we now have a total of 43 uh, alumni from the uh, program here, which is the largest uh, locus of that's the largest locus of students uh, uh, in Africa, so it makes it the largest African alumni uh, group. Uh, we've launched two programs. This year we started the Master of Science in Electrical Engineering, and we had the uh, Master of Science in Information Technology program. And so uh, those are two programs that will continue to generate uh, very important graduates for uh, the Rwandan ICT uh, industry. It's an exciting time for Africa, for Carnegie Mellon University and for the students that we're uh, educating. And we're uh, extremely fortunate and elated to have partners like you, uh, every one of you helping us to achieve this goal. I and my colleagues look forward to working with you to realize our vision here uh, in, in Africa and uh, in, in our uh, two uh, graduate programs. And I thank you very much for all that you do, the JAB members, the members from the, gov the representatives from the government of Rwanda, my faculty and staff uh, from Carnegie Mellon, and uh, you know everyone else who uh, is here tonight. Thank you very much. I want to address two questions. Why is Carnegie Mellon so active internationally? And why Rwanda? Uh, Carnegie Mellon is among a handful of US research universities that have been uh, aggressive and active in establishing international programs. And by that, I mean degree granting international programs. Uh, it comes from a strong belief that I and many other people have that in this world, which is really completely globally connected, or will be soon, uh, a university like ours needs also to be globally connected and globally engaged, not just globally connected. Second of all, uh, I felt it was important for Carnegie Mellon to extend our reputation around the world. I was told all the time by Bruce, by Pradeep, by everybody who traveled here, you have no idea what a wonderful, exciting, vibrant country Rwanda is. And I would say, yes, I know, that's why we're there. But until you come and see it, until you come and meet the people of Rwanda, and especially the alumni of Carnegie Mellon University, Rwanda, you cannot appreciate why we're here. And now I really do. To all the people that made this possible, thank you so much and congratulations to you. I think the future is very bright. In fact, I think it's limitless. Thank you very much.